Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're going to be taking a quick look at the Bulldog Winch Single Air Pressure Gauge. This is going to be an analog gauge to let you see where the pressure is for your onboard air tank so that you can make any adjustments to that as needed or see how much air you still have left in your tank. So it's going to be just this small gauge. It comes with a line of air tubing and the fittings to get connected from the gauge to your tank. So let's take a little closer look. The cable itself is going to be about 11 and 3 quarters of a foot long, so about 11 feet and 8 inches. And then it comes with the fittings to attach to the back of our gauge. So these are going to be compression fittings. That means you have to tighten it down so that it gets a really nice good seal. So on this end, we'll have this kind of larger female fitting go over that and then we would put our air tubing through. You want to make sure that you have one of those little bitty cone compression guys in there, which I do. It's just kind of one of those little tiny guys. You want the pointy end to be going towards the threads and then put your air tube up through there because that cone is going to be what compresses against the other side. So as we put this on the back of that gauge, push it all the way in, tighten it down. As we tighten it fully down, it's going to compress around that air tube and hold it secure. One thing I will note whenever you're putting this on there, to make sure that you don't have any leaks, you want to make sure that the end of the cable is really clean that there's no scratching or abrasions right now mine has a few little little tiny scuffs in it you'd want to cut that off and find uh, the spot where it's really nice and clean and there's no damage to it make a nice clean flush cut with that cable again to make sure that you have no air leaks and that's going to be a similar process to actually put this into the tank so you get one of these little collars put it around the air tube, put it onto that smaller end, and this male end is going to go into our other female end, and then this portion should fit into your air, air tank from Bulldog Winch. So relatively straightforward, just a few hand tools to get this installed, just a couple of wrenches or maybe a open-ended box wrench or a, a crescent wrench to get that tightened down. It does also come with a little bracket to hold this in place. So it's gonna be a couple of nuts and washers that hold this bracket down so you can get that mounted up. It does also have a lighted function, so I'll show you that in just a minute. It's not super bright, but it should be enough that uh, if it's dark, and you've got the lights on in your cab, it should match up with that pretty well. Looks like I've got this bracket kind of wedged on the threads here of my bolts. But we'll go ahead and hook this up to power and then just ground it off of one of these studs to see that lighted function. So you see the face of the gauge there it goes all the way up to 150 PSI. Connect my power and ground. So power obviously goes to that red wire grounding off to one of those studs. So now it's illuminated. I'm gonna turn the lights out in my studio so you can maybe see this, but it's very faint. You can kind of see around the edge there. It's illuminated, but it's not super bright, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, you don't want it to be anything blinding or distracting while you're driving at night. So it's just going to give you that little bit of illumination to make it visible in the dark. Might be something that you'd want to run the power off of your running light circuit so that you don't have to think about when that light comes on. Uh, you can just comes on whenever your running lights are on. Probably make the most sense there. So that's pretty much all there is to it for this bracket. I'm just trying to, there we go, get this little guy unstuck. So mount this up, tighten it down. The gauge diameter 
is about two and a quarter inch across there. And then the depth with the wiring, about three inches. This does have a one year limited warranty. And that's pretty much all there is to it for our look at the single air pressure gauge for your Bulldog Winch onboard air tank. I hope this video has been helpful in deciding if this is the right piece for you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.